love and blessings family welcome back to my channel it is Taj aka Mataj Massage and this is Mataj Midas Living I have got a word for you chosen family I pray it blesses you as much as it blessed me last night as I'm recording this it is the 25th of February 2024 and I received the message last night maybe around I want to say around 11 p.m. ish last night this message came through and I've been advised it's a right now word is to give you encouragement motivation to keep you going as you've been in this difficult season I originally thought it was just for me personally when I received it but I've been advised by the big guy that is actually one to share as well the plan is to just go through what I've got here and go through the scripture that he's given me as well. But we know these things don't always go as I've planned because this is God's channel. And if Holy Spirit has additional things to say, then I'm just going to flow with that. Um, I've just had a little bit of time in praise and worship privately. And just having a chat with God and also rereading over the notes and just lining it up with the scripture that he gave me. It's in I don't even know why I'm sharing this, but I'm going to share it anyway. So with me, I will remember parts of scripture, but I won't remember where it's from specifically. I will just know that it's scripture and I'll be like, oh yeah, that reminds me of such and such in scripture, but I'll have no idea where it is. So in my notes, I'll write down, oh, relating to such and such a story find scripture and then I have to look it up because I don't know it like verbatim in regards to like verse, chapter, book, etc. I just know that I've read it in scripture. Anyways, um, I don't know why I was led to share that. Maybe there's others of you that are similar when it comes to scripture as well. So I guess I'm sharing it because of that. <laughs> Anyways, um, if we vibe, join the tribe, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of when I have new videos out. Again, I don't know how frequent these videos will be or infrequent. It's just when I'm called to release a video, then I release the video. And today is one of those days. But before I get into the actual word that I've been given, Ahead of this, so over the last week, I've been seeing the number 2021, no, not 2021, 2121 a lot. And I looked it up in Strong's Concordance and in Strong's Greek, it pertains to the word eukairos. I've probably pronounced it wrong, but it means timely so like kairos timing kairos kairos i'm not sure how you pronounce that word timing and i've been seeing that a lot and i saw it yesterday ahead of me getting this word so it kind of made me think okay this is a this is a timely word because i was wondering why i kept seeing those numbers and i was like timely but what do you mean what is it that timely and then getting this word and as I go through the word that I received and how everything aligned and lined up in the confirmations it makes sense that it is timely because the actual word I received is connected to yesterday's date which was the 24th of February um so yeah I'm just going to get into it now before I continue waffling so the first part that I received of this message was after watching a video on YouTube, I'm going to go into that in more detail a little bit later because I've got notes on the video that I saw as well. But after I watched this video, I was just kind of chilling, having a bit of a, like a chill time with God. I was having a little bit of a smoke and reasoning session with him, but more in my head than out loud and just spending time with him. And then I heard in my spirit, um they this was while I was watching the video actually and then I heard it in my spirit and I heard 
they started hating you as soon as you started to love yourself. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Let me write it down. I was on my laptop. That's what I keep looking at, by the way. I was on my laptop while I was watching the video. So I was like, oh, let me write that down. And then the rest of this message kind of came through. And with the video, I think when she mentioned something that sparked that, I was towards the end of the video anyways. So I watched the end of the video and then this message came through. So as I said, I'm going to read what I've got here and talk about the scriptures that he gave me. And if Holy Spirit decides to provide me with any more information that needs to be shared with you guys, then I will share that. So again, as I said, the video, yeah, the video sparked. They started hating you as soon as you started to love yourself. And then this is like the prophetic flow, or I guess or prophetic scribe flow that I received. And this is what came out. So it was because at that point they knew they would no longer be able to pull the wool over your eyes. And that's referring to our enemies or the spirits that are working and operating in the people that have become our enemies. So I'm going to read that again. They started hating you as soon as you started to love yourself. It was because at that point they knew they would no longer be able to pull the wool over your eyes. And then the next part I've got is loving yourself through your journey of giving your whole heart to God is what purified it. And then that made me think of the scripture that says, blessed are the pure in hearts for they shall see God. And that is in Matthew 5 verse 8. And then the next part of the message I received was, you went through the fiery furnace and came out with a heart of gold. And that refers to um, Daniel being in the fiery furnace and coming out like untouched because God protected him. But in this sense, God was telling me that it's the fire that um, refined our hearts. And again, as I've written, has given us a heart of gold. And that is in Daniel 3 verse 8 onwards. Then the next message I received straight after that was, God is going to restore you in public in return for all the tears you cried in private. And then the next thing he said was, with interest. And I felt like, even like, like now I'm feeling the Holy Spirit, I'm feeling all like warm and fuzzy. And that's actually gonna be the title of the video. So I'm gonna say that again. God is going to restore you in public for all the tears you cried in private with interest um then the next part i got of the message is you've proven you can be a ruler over much because you were so faithful with the little that you've had and you still found a way to be generous and have sown when i told you to sow even if it was your last your continued obedience has led to this incoming overflow and the scripture that God gave me in regards to that was the parable of the talents, which is in Matthew 25, um, verse 21, in particular is the part. And I've been advised by Holy Spirit that I need to actually read that part out so that it makes sense in regards to the incoming overflow that's going to be coming after being in this absolute dire wilderness season that we've been in those who feel it know it who this word is for they will completely understand what I'm talking about so um so the parable of the talents I'm just going to give like a brief overview instead of reading the whole thing so basically there are these three servants and the master is going off somewhere and he gives them all talent. So the talents are like money. So he gives one of them one talent. He gives one of them two talents. And he gives the other one five talents. And he's instructed them to basically use what they've been given. Sow and reap from what they've sown, basically. And then the master goes off. He comes back and wants to know what's happened to his investment basically. And he comes back to them and the one who was given five, 
he invested his, received double. The one who had two invested his and received double back. And the one who had one talent, he was scared and disobedient and buried his money. So didn't make anything on his investment. And then those who were faithful and sowed with what they were given, God gave them more basically and then the master gave them more but we know it's God's that's what it's about and then the one who didn't have any faith and buried his and didn't do anything with it he lost everything because he didn't so he was disobedient basically and then when the master comes back those who were obedient this is what he said and this is Matthew 25 verse 21 and it says um where is it his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over little I will set you over much enter into the joy of your master and that made me smile just rereading that as well so I'm coming back to my notes now so it makes sense where it says you have been proven you can be ruler over much because you've been faithful over a little. And even when you were told to sow and your bank account was saying like, I shouldn't be sowing right now, like I should be holding on to what I have. But you've been faithful and been like, do you know what? God's got my back. He's always got my back. Even though things aren't great, things always seem to work out as long as I am faithful. So if God's telling me to sow my last, I'm going to sow my last and trust that he's going to give me what I need. And that's exactly what's been happening. Even if it's only been the thing where you've literally just had enough, because I've been in that season for a long time where I... There are things that I want, which I can't have right now because my finances won't allow but at the same time throughout this whole time I've always got exactly what I need and I'm grateful for that and in a in a sense I am abundant because I always have what I need I've never not had what I need so in that sense I have been abundant during this time so I have to trust that God's going to continue to give me what I need I know eventually there'll be more but I have to trust that As long as I'm being faithful to him and obedient to him, he will always provide me with exactly what I need. And that has been the case so far. So even when I'm scared and I don't want to do it, I still do it because I'm like, no, I have to like, I know God's track record. So let's keep going with this. He's told me to sow, so I'm going to sow. And I always get back what I need. But now what's happening is we're coming into a stage where we're going to finally because of our faith and our obedience, we're going to be rewarded with more. It's time for the overflow. It's time for the joy because we have had so much sorrow and so much hurt and heartache through this awful season. (laughs) Awful, awful season. And I know I'm laughing. It was weird to laugh when I'm talking about that, but it's because I know better is on the other side and, and I trust God. So it's almost like a preview of that joy. I can feel it. Like I know that this shift is happening and I hope this word encourages you guys as well. Um, Definitely rambling. So yeah. So as I said before, your continued obedience has led you to this incoming overflow that is due to us now, like from now onwards. Um, What else? The next part I've got is this was like a direct quote that I received from God as I was like writing, like as I was in prophetic flow and just writing what was coming through spiritually to me. And it says, you deserve every blessing coming your way, my child. I am proud of you. I love you and you do make me happy. And for that, I want to overflow you with joy. You've embraced the little joy you've been able to receive in this Job season that seems to be never ending. I intentionally did that to strengthen you. And that is because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And it really is because the fact that we've even been able to have joy during these trying times, like it's only because of God. It's literally only because of God. And I've cherished those moments of joy that I have had in 
especially in these darkest times because it's it really has been my strength and it has been what's kept me going through this and I'm sure the same is for many of you guys as well um and that is from where's it from Nehemiah 8 verse 10 then the next thing he said to me was I know it hasn't been easy but things will only get better from here onwards from glory to glory to glory and I was like oh my gosh it's almost time it's time and then as I'm saying it's time it's make, reminding me of God showing me 2121 like this week and including yesterday before I got this word he showed me 2020 uh 21 21 on the clock and as i mentioned before in strong's greek concordance that is eukairos which means timely and as i get further into this word you'll be able to see even more so why this word is timely and how that all kind of links together and like honestly god just blows my mind so what else have i got here so the next thing he said was, stay close to me as you have been, even when things seem at their worst. I've seen you actively do this, even when all the odds are stacked against you and you feel as if I've turned my back on you. I know that you felt bad when you felt like that and didn't dare to say it out loud and prayed for strength in faith. You stuck to your word of giving your whole heart to me even when everything was looking like the better option would be to take it away because it had been broken so many times, the closer and closer you got to me. But instead you still, this is, that's what I read, but this is what's coming through now. But instead of taking your heart away, when your heart was getting broken over and over and over again, you chose to lean into me well not me god this is thus saith the lord and um what else and then the next that he gave me was but i used it all as part of the purification process of your heart and then the next part of the prophetic flow i received was you are being blessed for enduring the heart purification process and not letting it turn to stone the time is now, aka Eucharos twenty one twenty one. So as I mentioned before, um, this message came through. There was a video that I was led to watch on YouTube, and the title of the video was, and the video was released yesterday on the twenty fourth of February, and it says, "It's time for your turnaround. Do you know what today is?" And I was like. I was really drawn to it and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I remembered that the other day on my watch, so it's one of those ones that does like step counts and stuff. And I remembered that I'd looked at my watch. I think it was on the 22nd of February. I looked at it and the amount of steps I'd done at that particular time was 2,402, which is 24.2. And I was like, oh, 24.2. I was like, that's in a couple of days. I was like, oh, God, why did you show me that? And then I was like, that must mean something. Like, I wonder what's happening on the 24th. Kind of forgot about it, left it as that. I was like, oh, remind me to, like, look it up. And then he brought it to my remembrance again on the 23rd of February. And I was like, oh, yeah, I saw 24 too. And I was like, oh, that's tomorrow. And I said... I just said a quick prayer. I was like, oh, please remind me to look up the meaning of that on the Hebrew calendar. I was like, I wonder what it means. Completely forgot again. But this is where I know God did that on purpose and didn't bring it to my remembrance because he tied it all together when he led me to this video. So I've put, where is it? Then today, so obviously this was me writing it yesterday. Um, I'm drawn to that video. I'm not subscribed to the channel. I will link the video below as well. I can't remember the channel name or anything. I'm not subscribed to the channel at all. It came up in my, what do you call it? Oh, like the explore page or the recommended videos. It was on that page. Um, 
and where is it yeah i'm not subscribed to the channel and then before i started the video i asked god for clear clarification if the video was from him like was it him leading me to that video was it me like trying to search something out because it looked like it fit kind of thing and pretty much as soon as the video started he confirmed that no this video is for you and then as i'm watching the video she starts going into the significance of the 24th of february in the hebrew calendar and god is so good yeah like and he brought it to my remembrance i literally couldn't believe it and then the confirmation clearly was like an answer as to why he showed me 2402 on my step count and that it made sense as to why the 24th of february was so significant and in the hebrew calendar it is um the day is the 15th of adar which is linked to the story of esther so in in, in the hebrew calendar this is what it represents in regular years the 15th of adar is shushan purim the festival that celebrates in jerusalem and other ancient walled cities the salvation of the hebrew people from haman's evil decree in the year um 3405 from creation so 356 um bc this is in esther 9 and I actually released a word pertaining to the story of Esther. I can't remember if it was in 2022 or 2021. But it was, a, I remember saying something in the video about our enemies falling into the pit that they dug for us. Something like that. Um, and it just made me think of that. All the things that have been coming against us and all the things that try to make us fall is not going to happen like it's not gonna evil is not going to prevail over us because it's our time now and it's time to celebrate um what else have i got in the youtube video that i was led to so the one i'm talking about still she also describes that the celebration is also about coming out of sorrow and moving into joy and then I heard in my spirit, it's time to reap in joy after all the tears that you sowed. And that is linked to Psalm 126 verse 5. Then the next thing I found out in the video that I was watching is that it's also a leap year this year, not just in the Gregorian calendar, but also a leap year in the Hebrew calendar. And in the Hebrew calendar, it's not an extra day you get, but it's an additional month because of the way that they calculate it. I can't remember how it's calculated and how the months are set up. But the way she described it in the video, it made sense. I was like, oh, OK, that's cool. So it's a leap year in the Gregorian calendar and a leap year in the Hebrew calendar as well. And when there's a... Um, Sorry, when there is a leap year in the Hebrew calendar, you get a second Adar. So you get that celebration again from going from sorrow to joy. So it's like a double celebration. And it made me think of this restoration in regards to everything that we have lost. And also the message that God gave me about the, what was it? Oh yeah about the title of this video which is god is going to restore you in public in return for all the tears you cried in private with interest and that also made me think of what you um sow in tears you will reap in joy as well and then what else have i got here but yeah it's just the way everything lined up so god showed me the 24th of February on my step count on my watch and I was like what does that day mean what does that day mean and then forgot about it then he showed me the video that was released on the 24th and then it described everything what it pertains to in the Hebrew calendar which is what I was meant to search for and then forgot but then he showed me the answer in that video and it just made everything all add up 
and then something else I also noticed about the date as well which she mentioned in the video was 24 was in there twice the 24th of February 2024 so 24 24 and I was like oh look that's like doubled up again I was like double for your trouble and like having that interest of the overflow and restoration you're not just getting back what you lost but you're getting back more than that because God's is so faithful and then again that links to the story of the parable of the talents you were given little you sowed that in faith and then because you sowed that in faith you got back interest that's only come through now I'm just like everything like the way he pieces everything together and cross references everything even if you don't realize it at the beginning it's just like wow God is so intentional and strategic with everything that he does it's just it honestly blows my mind Anyways, let's get to the last bit of this video. Yeah, so next month we get a second ADA, so it's a second chance to celebrate, but this starts from now. Well, as of yesterday, the 24th of February, was the start of the um, Shishan Purim. I've probably pronounced that wrong, that celebration of coming out of sorrow and into joy because the enemy did not defeat us because God is our protector and God has been warring on our behalf through all of this and it's time it's time to celebrate now and we're going to get another celebration because next month we get Adar again so from now onwards things are going to start shifting physically you probably felt it in the spirit I felt that shift in the spirit for a long time but my life has not been showing that and I'm sure the same is for many of you watching this but at the same time you've still got that faith to keep pushing keep going you know that something is on the other side of this it's like you're at that that breaking point here and it's just like I've had enough but you're still going it's just you just have to keep because eventually at that breaking point as it keeps knocking it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker and then it will open and then the overflow will come hopefully that makes sense that literally just came through um and then the next thing i've got in my notes is your latter days are here and then in the video she said take it easy and then that reminded me of a video that i released this year i can't remember i think it was this year i can't remember and it was, the title was Take It Easy, Your Latter Days Are Here or Your Latter Days Are Coming, something like that. I will link that video below as well. Um, and as I said before, I believe this video is a right now where with me seeing 21, 21, like over the last week and then just before receiving the word and it meaning timely um, in Strong's Greek Concordance. And then the way everything just added up with me receiving about receiving the 24th of February as something important to look up then forgetting it then remembering like oh yeah I must look it up in the Hebrew calendar then forgetting and then God showed me that video and then that was the answer that of what I was meant to look for anyways and the fact that that was yesterday's date and the message came through is it's this is the time like it just has to be because why else would everything line up the way it's lined up? It's just, I don't even, I don't even know the word. It's just too many, too many parts like coming together, too many parts of the puzzle coming together for it to be a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences anyways. So yeah, it, God is speaking and God is moving and we're gonna start seeing changes in the physical it's gonna be time to celebrate in the physical <sighs> because it, it is time now it it's that time it, it has to be so what is the next thing i've got here i feel like there's something i forgot to read i think it's just one more thing that i need to go through so as I said I will link that video below about the latter days as well and then 
the next thing I've got is don't force this word if the shoe doesn't fit like a glass slipper. It's Cinderella season. This applies to men and women in the sense that your happy ever after is here. Your latter days will be your fairy tale ending. Yes, life will be life because things happen in life, like good and bad things happen in life, whether you're following God wholeheartedly or not, like life is life and it's always going to work that way. But at the same time, with that being said, things will never be as bad as the season that you are now leaving. And those of you who this message is for, you will know exactly what I mean when I say that pertaining to your life. Personally, it has been a job season. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. The things that normally never go wrong have gone wrong. People have turned against you. Every time you feel like there's an opportunity of things changing and it feels like it's definitely going to change, it doesn't, it probably gets worse. All these random things have gone wrong. You've probably had issues in relationships with people, your finances, your technology, work, career, business, love life, like car, like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And despite all of that, you've been faithful and you've clung to God. Yes, you've had doubts. Yes, you've probably complained and cried and moaned and all of those things. But at the same time, you chose to direct all of that to God and not in the sense that you were being like disrespectful to God, but you were just talking to him about how you were feeling and how all these things were making you feel and that you are struggling with your faith and that you are having doubts and that you are fed up of what's going on but at the same time despite saying all that you're like well even though I'm feeling like this I'm choosing to trust you because you've been faithful through everything else and this is the time where that faith is gonna pay off and your your faithfulness is going to bring your rewards in a sense so the fact that you've been faithful over little God is gonna bring you into a position to be ruler over much because you have proven yourself to be responsible but despite what happens whether it's good bad amazing great your first and foremost and your priority is God like whatever happens whatever blessings are coming your way, God needs to be your priority. But we know that anyways, because even through the hardest times, God has been our priority. Even when everything's saying, why am I doing this? Despite feeling those feelings, you still leaned on God through all of this. So it's time now to be rewarded for your obedience. So what else have I got? I think I've just got one more thing to read off now is. So yeah, basically this journey that we've been on, like this Job season of (laughs) these tumultuous times we've been through, this storm, this hurricane, this volcano, this earthquake, like literally it's felt like all the natural disasters combined. It's been like a metaphor of that. I feel for me personally, and I'm sure it's been the same for you, but what it's been, it's been us wrestling for our promise, like Jacob, because yeah, we've had promises in the past, which have been amazing promises, but in comparison to what is coming next, it's going to be unlike any other promise you've ever had from God, even with all your other previous promises combined, that small fry in comparison to what's next. Like you are stepping into your latter days. It's going to be something big. It's going to be even bigger than what God has shown you is coming on the other side. And because of how big and important this next stage of your life is, because it's linked to your purpose, 
this is why you've had to fight the way you've had to fight and when it starts coming into fruition in the um in the physical it's all going to start to make sense as to why you had to fight the way you've had to fight and um that part about wrestling like jacob is from genesis 32 22 to 32 and then the last part of the word is and jacob's trouble is now over and that is linked to Jeremiah 37 to 11. And I'm just going to end with reading that out and let you guys go. And I just pray that it's encouraged you. So as I said, Jeremiah 30, verse 7 to 11, this is the ESV version. And it says, alas, that day is so great, there is none like it. It is a time of distress for Jacob, yet he shall be saved out of it. And it shall come to pass in that day, declares the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off your neck and I will burst your bonds and foreigners shall no more make a servant of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. Then fear not, O Jacob, my servant, declares the Lord, nor be dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save you from far away and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease and none shall make him afraid, for I am with you to save you, declares the Lord. And... I'm not going to add to that. I pray this word has blessed you. Again, if we vibe, join the tribe, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified of when I have new content out. And I will see you in the next video. I love you all.